Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now this video is with regard to the update that the CBSE has released on 9th of March regarding that J main paper that all the topics uh, in the question paper will be carrying equal weightage that is all topics from class 11 all topics class from class 12 in e subject physics chemistry maths will carry equal weightage now uh, coming to the distribution of marks with regards to the various chapters or the distribution of question papers if you uh, these analysis of past papers it is given in various sources in internet it is available in various books it is available now if you go through them you will see that uh, j main or the cbsc has been following this pattern from last few years almost like to an extent of accuracy of 98% to 99% that means almost all chapters they have been giving questions from almost all chapters they have not neglected any chapters be it rotational motion be it uh, thermodynamics be it kinetic theory of gases they have been giving questions from all topics regularly so the point is like uh, based on this notice you need not change your strategy and uh, see the, this video is for the students who are facing the worst case scenario and in that worst case scenario they are expecting that they everyone who give the exams they give the exam with the expectation that they will crack it successfully so to give your best shot uh, my advice is see uh, just don't go th now the time is very few days are left so it is not we don't have time to look for each and every chapters so best thing is uh, first, uh, uh, go through the past papers of uh, JE main or AAEE papers, which uh, you can take any of the publications like, or you can take the Aryan publications, you can take the Disha publication books, or you can take the MDG publication books. Now, similarly, uh, CBC has also released one book that is the Exemplar Physics, Exemplar Mathematics, Exemplar Chemistry. It has the objective questions this books this questions in this books have been designed by cbse so it will be helpful if you go through these books as well and uh, one more thing uh, uh, for the next few few days for the examination paper pen paper based examination is on 8th then online test is on 15th and 16th so those of you who are writing this exam for 8th as well as for those of you who are writing the exams on 15 and 16 my advice is like uh, take one test daily uh, take one practice test daily and analyze your mistakes and based on those mistakes uh, you analyze your strength and weaknesses and then shortlist what are all the chapters like my advice is like uh, for students from Assam uh, the last year cutoff was in the range of uh, 140, 150 for the last seat in the general category. So based on this, uh, my advice is like if you are able to cover around 40% of the syllabus in each of the subjects, physics, chemistry and mathematics, and if you are quite sure of those topics, that 40% of the topics, then it will be easy path for you to crack the examination. So take those easy topics like for example in class 11 you can take thermodynamics you can take ktg you can take uh, uh, properties of matter you can take uh, work energy power topic you can take gravitation don't neglect gravitation uh, when you are studying gravitation you include gravitation then second year part this electrostatics and magnetic effects of electric current combine these three topics in a single unit study as a whole uh, then you uh, don't neglect the modern physics part modern physics part is uh, chapters are very small but they are highly scoring like atoms nuclei uh, dual nature of atom then in logic gates electronics uh, these are very small units they don't have much complicated questions so go through all the questions which are which have appeared in past papers and as well as uh, questions from ncrt as well as this exemplar physics book so select those topics in which you are very strong one more thing i forgot to tell this uh, in j main you will also get questions from experimental physics experimental chemistry so the experimental physics part 
the questions are very easy direct and highly scoring so that topic don't neglect that topic uh, even like for its sake if you are uh, if you are forced to uh, leave the topic this rotational motion leave rotational motion but don't neglect this uh, experimental physics part because experimental physics questions you will be if you have studied if you have practiced such questions there is a hundred percent probability that you will be able to solve those questions but rotational motion top chapter like even if you have practiced it is quite possible that you may get a question in examination which is very difficult to solve so instead of putting your energy on rotational motion put your energy on yeah, this uh, experimental physics part now uh, one more thing so out of the three subjects physics chemistry and ma mathematics if some of you are having some difficulties in chemistry just change your attitude put your effort maximum effort on chemistry because chemistry is the most scoring out of the three uh, for most of the students i'm not saying this is true for all students but for most of the students chemistry is the most scoring part and it is the most easiest part because you will get direct questions in chemistry okay so put more effort on chemistry it is more scoring okay so and uh, based on your strength and weaknesses distribute your time each day you must give time for all the subjects and most importantly as i has told earlier one test every day one test every day you must give okay so and uh, practice past papers analyze past papers you uh, suppose in laws of motion there are say for example there are 15 important critical topics okay and if uh, say out of those 15 topics if you analyze the past few years papers 10 years papers or 5 years papers you will see that okay these concepts have been repeated or these concepts have come so what is the probability of what kind of questions uh, coming in the next this year's paper so suppose nine uh, out of those 15 concepts uh, uh, 14 concepts have come one co concept has not come so uh, analyze what uh, what is the possibility like if it is a numerical it is quite possible that it may come but if you analyze the last few years papers you will see that okay almost all concepts have come so based on that uh, so uh, like it it will show it will give you a hint that okay for this particular chapter no new no no more new concepts can come so you practice all those questions and uh, like as as in my previous video also i told that uh, in je main or uh, need paper the questions are not repeated so concepts are often repeated so if you have uh, solved last 10 to 15 years papers you will be having a much more will be appearing the examination with much more confidence that okay uh, for each and every topics what i have studied i have a clear cut concept so with that kind of confidence it will be very uh, easier for you to qualify this J-Main examination with a fairly decent score.